My name is David Bartosh. Uh, we're at Wiseacre Brewing Company in Memphis, Tennessee. I think we're mostly known for Pilsner. It's about 50% of what we make these days. So we make a very large array of different beers, probably around 300 since we opened in uh, 2013. We end up with a lot of Whirlpool hops in a lot of our beers, including our Pilsner. And in those beers, we end up with, uh, with a lot of wort loss. This is a situation where something like Flex helps us a whole bunch to save that wort. So we end up with a much smaller true pile at the end of our knockout. I think bittering is an important part of the brewing process because it balances the products. And it's supremely important like what kind of product is used. So like Flex, I think is a better product, mostly because it gives a cleaner bitterness, just as far as the overall flavor. There's tons of stuff that we, I mean, that we like about it, but the biggest thing for me uh, was that we liked it better, it tasted better. I mean, I think you ask any brewer, the preference is always gonna be for what tastes better. So, so that was initially very attractive. Um, but then after that, you know, we found out that it wasn't only like a wash, we actually save a little bit of money using it, um, primarily because uh, it's the storage and shipping is so much less. A lot of times, especially if you're using very large loads of, of bittering hops, um, you know, lower alpha, lots of quantity, you end up with like a cooked broccoli type bitterness, not, uh, not a very specific bitterness. Like, and I think Flex gives you a very specific bitterness. It's just bitterness without flavor. What I think that really is, it's just like a lack of like tannin in the final product. When we're using a large amount of pellet hops, a lot of that vegetable matter goes into the beer and we extract polyphenols, tannins from those hops, whereas flex those don't exist. So I think from a purely like analytical perspective, it just gives it a little bit cleaner, it's a little bit more pointed. It's uh, just more pleasant, I would say. Just having a hop bittering that is much higher in alpha acids means that it's a much more compact version of the same thing. You know, it stores in neat little, very stackable jugs as opposed to bags and boxes that take up a lot of space. Same thing with shipping. You can get so much more of it on a pallet than you can traditional hops. For me, it's really just a convenience factor. Like Flex in a mill room where I can just use it, weigh it, put it in the silo beforehand is a lot better than having an 1,100 pound pallet that I have to bring out, weigh 20 pounds of hops, and then that in. It's just on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a much easier product to use. To be completely honest, we've been using Flex for three years and I remember us getting three to eight percent more work than, than we had been getting. It wasn't enormous, but it was definitely helpful. I think obviously the bigger your brew house is, the more important it becomes because the larger your bittering charge would be in your brew house, the more work you're going to lose. Having something that's always balanced at almost the same alpha acid every single year means that we're not having to adjust our recipes. We could have a lot more consistency in our products. And having beers that taste the same from month to month and from year to year is really important in our industry. It definitely helps with making sure that we have product consistency. I absolutely would recommend Flex to a fellow brewer. I think the convenience of storage, I think is the biggest thing. As far as a day-to-day -day usage, it just makes brewing easier. 